Hey everyone, Predator here. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit something different today. I'm going to go th over uh, kind of how I build my shelves with the aluminum extrusion and stuff um, and just show you some of the stuff that I do to put it together because uh, I've had several questions on what I use and how I build them. So uh, coming up right after this. So I just want to start kind of show you some of the pieces. Um, I've got a lot of it put together already uh, for the shelving unit I'm building right now. Uh, but these are some of the pieces that I use. So this is the aluminum extrusion. Uh, I use a one inch by one inch. They have several different sizes and stuff that you can purchase. Um, 8020 is one of the companies that makes these uh, and you can get them direct from them or there's other places that carry them too. Uh, I get most of mine from Granger because uh, and most of the parts and stuff that I put together put them together with too so so some of the parts so this is a, a 90 degree uh, corner here so essentially you're gonna buy the bolts and the nuts separate uh, and they're called T nuts um, so then you look at them here you can see there's a bracket on the back I already put all these together uh, I can pull it apart though here so I do it a little differently there's these have, uh, they cover two bolts, so these nuts can take two bolts into them because right, it makes it a little more sturdy. And I'm dropping the nut or the bolt here. Uh, and then I have these individual ones, uh, nuts, and then the, the bolts for them too. So you just put it through the hole, you put these on it. And then what you, you do with those, and this is a piece that goes on the side over here, I'll show you that in a second chopping my head off a little here so uh, so you put it in here like this the biggest thing I can tell you about this putting these together is the configuration uh, so you definitely want to look into the configuration make sure you're uh, you have all of the nuts in place where you want them and need them because uh, there's nothing like having to take them apart uh, and then slide them in or try to slide them in and put it back together again uh, the only thing if you do that and you don't want to take it apart. They also have nuts that will slide in, uh, and I'll show you some of those as well. They slide into the slot, and then you can still screw them in, uh, and it tightens it inside there. So uh, those are a little bit more expensive than the regular T nuts. Uh, that's why you want to try to avoid it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so you put it in the slot. You just slide it in. Uh, I'll try to get a little closer here. So you slide it in there, the nut, and then you just take an Allen wrench and you can tighten it. I leave these a little loose until I get them on the pieces that I need them on. Um, but yeah, so it ends up looking like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one together a little bit. Uh, I put it on the side and then we'll go from there. Like I said, I, I leave it pretty loose, I just tighten it a little bit so it'll stay so that I can slide it in appropriately. So, and then you got these here, hopefully you can see it okay. And these will just, as long as you have it loose enough, they'll slide in to the slots. And that's why I leave it loose, because I've got it too close together, so it's not sliding down all the way. There we go. And then again, sometimes you'll have too big of a gap, so then you'll just loosen it again. Pull it together, make sure it's level, and then tighten it in there. Try to get it as close as I can. You should be able to get it to butt right up against it. Tighten that side. Again with this one, make sure it's touching it here. And 
the bubble here. Once you get one of them tightened, you can start tightening the whole thing. So this shelving unit here is only, I'm going to have the bottom uh, for a shelf, and then I'll put another shelf on top. It's going to go over, under the window over here, um, and I'll show you that once I get it together too. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. They also have, and I, I do suggest them uh, if you want to go that route, an angle bracket that they put in. And that angle bracket essentially is going to kind of distribute the weight on some of these uh, top ones. So you could put in the angle bracket here um, so that it distributes the weight to the sides, to more of the poles. Obviously, I like to make sure they're very tight with the amount of weight that we're putting on them. Uh, aluminum extrusion, a lot of them use it for like in factories and stuff, so it can hold a ton of weight. I don't know about a literal ton, but a lot. All right, so I got that side on. Uh, I'll kind of give you an idea before I start this one. So. Uh, I put all the, the center pieces in, the supports in the middle, in this one. Uh, I've got to measure it and tighten them, make sure they're all in the right spot. And then once I get all of those in, uh, I'll go ahead and get it on top. Um, and then I'll have to cut the shelving or the shelves themselves uh, to fit on there. So, all right. All right, so after I told you uh, to make sure your configuration is right so that you have all the pieces in place. Uh, I forgot to put brackets in these pieces here, uh, two of them, for the supports that go kind of in the middle of it here. So what I do is, rather than use those other nuts I was telling you about, uh, I'm just going to take these two bolts out, move this forward so I can slide them in. Uh, I thought I would kind of show you just in case you end up in the same spot because after I've done all these, I still run into that same issue. But if you plan it out right, then you wouldn't have to have, have to do this, so. As long as you don't move it too much, the nuts will stay kind of where they're at, which is kind of why I have it sitting the way I have it sitting while I'm doing this. All right, so those are out. So these are the L brackets uh, that I use. So you can see you attach the, the T-nut to it uh, with the bolts. One thing I did learn, I don't know if you can see it very well. So these bolts here, the ones that come with these uh, T-nuts have like a flange around them. So I actually had to use some different ones to get both these bolts in the corner here because uh, the heads were too big and they were hitting each other. So. Just so you know, that's, that's how I had to do it. They're not visible, so it's not like something somebody's going to see because they're going to be underneath the shelving. Uh, okay, so then make sure you got it the right way, the way you need it, and then you should be able to just slide it down in. And I'll tighten it later. And again, this one, I need these facing out because there's going to be that support there. So this one's actually going to go here, and I tighten this one just because I'm right here. And I just make sure it's level here. Tighten that up. And then I should be able to just put this back in as long as the nut hasn't moved. And screw it right in. I try to get it started with my fingers just to make it easier. And I try to go the right way, which is good. Alright, 
so that one's fairly tight. And then I like to get the other one in before I get it all the way in there. This one feels like it moved a little bit on me. Maybe not. Not too good. There's different tools you can use. Uh, you know, an Allen wrench. I just use an Allen wrench because this one fits really well in these bolts. Um, you can use a drill, but I would be extremely careful. You don't want to strip it because uh, drilling these out probably wouldn't be very much fun. So. One of the reasons I use uh, the aluminum extrusion, uh, it, it's, it's not the price because it's pretty expensive. Uh, this piece alone uh, with the shelving units is probably going to cost me, or with the, the shelves themselves, around $500. Uh, so kind of expensive uh, for just the, the one shelving unit, um, but it's the modular uh, piece of it that I really like. So I know you've seen some of my other stuff here, so I have some where the shelves kind of in the middle, I'll have them go back so that the top shelf is shorter, uh, not as wide as the bottom shelf. Uh, and I just like to be able to change it up like that. Uh, and you can raise and lower these. Um, obviously, with the supports, you'd have to recut those um, if you were going to raise or lower it. Uh, but for the most part, uh, some of them I left really long, uh, and I can still move those shelves up and down as I please. So that one's tightened, um, we'll be moving on. All right, so I'm just finishing up tightening everything down. Um, once I get done with this, like I said, I'll go out and cut the shelving units uh, so that they'll, or the shelves, so they'll fit right on it. Top one will be easy, I don't think I have to cut it actually, uh, since I don't have any anything extending above that, but the bottom one I'll cut out where the brackets are and where the supports are so that it'll fit right in there snug. So. Uh, so I just want to tighten these final ones up here. So I usually have an assistant, uh, <laughs> my poor wife, uh, to help me put these on, the, the top pieces on, because you're going to have, I had eight different brackets that I had to make sure lined up and put them on. Uh, I was able to do this one myself since it was uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the good thing about the aluminum, it's it's really light, so it's not none of it's too heavy. There's that one. I just got one more bracket here. ready to be put in its place, uh, cut the shelves, put them in, uh, and then we'll start loading it up. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, once I get the shelves on, I'll kind of take a final uh, video so everybody can see it. Uh, it'll, it'll all be part of this, but, but yeah, all right. All right, so I wanted to go through some of the parts with you guys, uh, just because I know you, uh, you've you been watching and seen some of the things I've done and put together. Um, so just kind of do a close-up of some of the parts that I'm using uh, so you can kind of get an idea. So I'm going to get a little closer here. So these are the T-nuts and these are the doubles. Uh, this is the, the l bracket that I use uh, that has two holes on each side. Essentially you just put the T-nut on it, just kind of hold on the back of it with the holes lined up and then you just kind of, let me show you that, and then you just put the bolt in. Uh, and screw it into the T-nut. Then once you get it in there a little bit, you don't want to go too far because then it won't slide through the channel. Um, so then here's the aluminum, aluminum extrusion. Uh, and then you just take the T-nut and you slide it inside the channel there. Hopefully you guys can see it that well. Uh, and then once you get it, you adjust it, just kind of, I usually just make sure it's flat here and then tighten it up. Um, so that's how those go in there. Uh, 
these are other things that I'm going to be using. This is a different type of bracket. It goes, so essentially you would put the T-net on this. I've got one here, so I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, so on this bracket, you're going to do the T-net. You're going to screw it in here. And then now you can slide it in there. So you just got to line it up. Slide it in. And this one allows you to... So like I said, I'm going to put the, the glass I'm using, or the plexiglass, uh, in here. And this is going to hold it in place. I'll just tighten it wherever I need to support it. So that's that one. Uh, one thing, uh, kind of a gotcha, uh, I ordered some of mine off of Amazon. What you need to be careful of uh, are these L brackets. These are just the single holes, which I did use on some of the supports in the middle of the shelves. Um, but this one is really thin. So if you can see kind of the thickness between these two, uh, there are a lot of other L brackets like this one, this size, um, that are thicker, like this one, which is the ones I got from like Granger and you probably get from like 8020. Um, so just keep an eye on that because when you're putting the bolt in these, uh, it'll go too far. Uh, because it's so thin and the bolt will actually hit the inner part of the aluminum extrusion uh, and won't go and tighten on you. Um, you can use these uh, and use a washer or something uh, and that'll let it go far enough so you can actually tighten it. So just a little gotcha on that one there. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you was this is the, the I forget what they call it, it's like a slip-in T-nut. So that, let's say you got it all together uh, and you forgot something, right? You forgot a bracket. So these little pieces here, you can kind of see there's like a little, uh, it, it, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a spring in there um, so that it'll hold it in place for you. So it's just a little nut, little T-nut. Um, it's kind of rounded on the edges or it's all the way rounded, like a half circle. Um, and essentially you're going to just put it in and you're just going to kind of slide it in there. And it's in there now and then you can just Put your bolt in. Obviously, put the bracket in there, but and then put the bolt in it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy to do uh, if you do make a mistake uh, and you need to add some brackets or something. Uh, so I highly suggest you getting some of these because, uh, like I showed you earlier, uh, I've done I don't know eight of these shelving shelving units, um, and probably every time I've had to use some of these uh, to add some brackets to it. Uh, so that's that. So I wanted to go through that for you guys. Uh, this is the uh, final product product here um, that I just did. So you can see uh, I got all the shelves on, the bottom and the top. I got all the grooves cut out so everything fit in there. Um, and then I've got Loki on the throne sitting on it right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, make sure you click subscribe and uh, Click that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I'm going to try to do a few more like this, uh, and then I'm also doing some sculptures, uh, some just some starter ones, uh, but I'm going to do some videos on those so you guys can see kind of what I did and how I learned, um, because I am just learning. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for coming.